Hello, my name is Shauna Fagg. I will be speaking to you today about the use of infant and child safety seats. Motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death and serious injury for children over one years old. Statistics have shown that children who are not restrained in a properly installed safety seat are not safe. No one human being is strong enough to hold on to a child even in the event of a crash. The child could be ejected into the dashboard and crushed by the parent or caregiver by their weight or injured by an airbag. Texas law states that all children must ride in the safety seat until their fifth birthday or until they're at least 36 inches tall. All children younger than 17 years of age must wear a seat belt. However, everyone riding in the front seat of a vehicle, regardless of their age, must be wearing a seat belt by law. Click It or Ticket is the most successful seat belt enforcement campaign ever, says the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Many of these deaths can be prevented and a safety car seat can save a child's life when it is installed and used correctly. Child safety seats reduced the risk of death in passenger cars by 71% for infants and by 54% for toddlers ages one to four years of age. Therefore, a child safety seat should always be used. Injuries happen even in driveways and parking lots too. All too often adults make a deadly mistake by only using safety seats on freeways or long trips. Many crashes happen at low speeds of within or within five miles of the home. For a child that is zero to one year of age and weighs five to 20 pounds, an infant seat that is rear facing in the vehicle should be used. A child that is zero to one year and 21 to 30 pounds, a convertible rear facing seat is the correct safety seat to be used. The rear facing seat is used to prevent an infant's large head from falling forward when the car stops suddenly or in case of a car accident. The child that is one year and older, weighing 21 to 40 pounds, is able to use a forward-facing convertible seat. Regardless of a child's age, the weight requirement must be met before advancing to a different safety seat. Airbags greatly reduce a child in a serious car accident. A rear-facing safety seat should never be placed in front of an airbag. Even without an airbag, a child is always safer in the back seat of a car. Over time, parents and or their caregivers overlook inspecting the child's safety seat for malfunctions and may not know that the seat has been recalled. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has a listing on their website of recalled safety seats and recommends often checking the labels for the model numbers, labels for the model numbers, and also if the seat is missing any, any labels at all, it is not safe to use. When installing the safety seat, the first place to try and put the seat is in the middle of the back seat. A well-connected harness clip is correctly positioned at the child's mid chest or armpit area. And this keeps the shoulder straps in a correct position. Most rear facing seats should recline about a 45 degree angle. Never try to use an infant seat facing forward. It is not designed to be used in that particular way. Once in the middle, once the middle of the child's ears reaches the top of the car seat, or he or she exceeds the weight limit of the infant car seat, they should be moved up, which is usually about 40 pounds. The child should ride into a booster seat at that point. The key to getting a tight fit is to put all of your weight 
with using your knee into the car seat as the, as the seat as you tighten the seat belts. And the seat should not move no more than one inch, more than one inch forward, backwards, or on either side. Always consult the owner's manual for the car safety seat and for the automobile. The National Highway Traffic Safety also provides instructional videos on how to install a safety seat properly. Even with the best practice, not all injuries can be prevented. Still, much of the best practice is based on statistics and how to have the best chance to reduce injuries. When used properly, rear-facing, forward-facing car seats, booster seats, and safety belts do provide significant safety advantages. Thank you for allowing me to give you this presentation. Thank you all for joining me.